First thing let me say, hip hop is dead. Cause so many fat ass niggas claim to be a rapper when they don't know what hip hop is. You know? When you start to show them respect, they think they're the best. Nah man. Fuck all of you. This nigga is not some bullshit, he thinks he's the best He doesn't have to mention my name cause I'm part of the game Hip hop is dead cause every fact nigga claim to be a rapper thing is the best Kindred is one of my favorite but when it comes to rap nigga Fuck it, I gotta make it, I used to have more favorite artists but now I got less Cause I up artists got no story to tell but underground artists got shit to say I know a lot of fact rappers, I could name it, they'll always win the what award? Cause the faggot So don't claim to be a king of hip hop when you're not What's the difference between us? You rap, I rap, you got fans, I got fans You fuck hoes, I fuck hoes I take them to the movies and you don't That's the difference is here Too many fake rappers keep rapping about the same topic For me, that's a bad hobby Just cause you're rich, you got cars and rooms Doesn't mean that you got shit to do You in the studio with your phone I guess you on Facebook not even writing a song Nigga, open your mouth and speak I don't even know how did you become a rapper of the week All the labels are fucked They keep signing artists got no story to tell If I could, I'll burn all you motherfuckers and send you all to hell I see you post a picture on Twitter and shit But all your rhymes are weak All the best rappers are dead The worst rappers are life I could name all of you motherfuckers But I ain't got no time You ain't no king of the rap game So move your ass on the side Leave it to the fence to the side Be careful what you say before you say it again You started as a friend Now you wanna be the man Nigga, we don't play like that You stay in your lane When I look at you all fake rappers I feel sorry Whoever listening to your music is another story Some rappers it don't even make sense, I don't even know how they got fans Don't fuck with the dawn, nigga Cause we're kicking back doesn't mean that we're gone Next time we come around, you better show respect Fat ass niggas, those days Fuck all of your motherfuckers Yeah, your boy Bangs And this track is dedicated to Jimmy Fallen the one that he talks shit when he got nothing to talk about. Do not watch Jimmy Fallen show. He got nothing to talk about cause he's horrible. He start talking about your boy Banks at his show. He trying to make fun of me but no more. Do not watch Jimmy Fallen show. He got nothing to talk about cause he's horrible. He start talking about your boy Banks at his show. He trying to make fun of me but no more. Jimmy Fallen said my song was horrible. You need to fix your hand before the show cause you look terrible. You just a clown making fun of people cause you got nothing to talk about That's why I'm out, not many people come to your show You just putting soundtrack of people laughing, I don't know why it's for Don't play with my name, it stop making fun of banks I should sue your ass for playing my song at your show But I'm not doing that cause your broken hands look gross Do not watch Jimmy Fallen show cause he need to grow do not watch Jimmy Fallen show He got none to talk about cause he's horrible He start talking about your boy Banks at his show He trying to make fun of me but no more Do not watch Jimmy Fallen show He got none to talk about cause he's horrible He start talking about your boy Banks at his show He trying to make fun of me but no more Go get a doctor Jimmy You need to worry about your hand before you come to me I didn't want the free publicity but i still make fun of you when i come to your city should i say jimmy fallen or jimmy fallen whatever that name is i don't care but hey jimmy i saw what you put up why you worry about me when you didn't even worry about your hand first you know what i'm saying shit wasn't fun at all at least i'm taking ladies to the movies but who are you taking nobody you just at your show 24 hours sitting in one place talking shit about people When shit ain't fun at all You know, tell your band to stop laughing And you too If that's how you make your money, don't make it over me Cause I don't want the free publicity Thank you anyway, I'm out Do not watch Jimmy Fallen show Alright, it's me, dude. It's fucking me. Woo! What it do? What it do, big boys and, and women? Any big women in here say, hey! <laughs> I don't know who would answer that. It's just gonna be men who answer that. 
Generally, I find that when you tell big women to say, hey, they don't do it. Oh, don't call women big, okay? <laughs> I'm just imagining meeting a woman and being like, wow, you're big. Wow, so big. A guy I can do it, though. Hey, big guy. That's a, that's a saying, dude. Did I learn that at the BBW convention? Well, the, it, a BBW tacitly implies that, you know, they're big. I don't have to go, whoa, you're big. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of women, um, I'm going to open up today's stream with a game that seems designed hold on uh, uh that, that I'm pretty sure it's a it's a a woman game we've played a few games that are pretty uh feminine by nature that don't seem to be like designed for cynical white males like me um, and, uh, this one looks like a doozy, dude. I think it's going to be like 30 minutes long, but when I'm talking about, uh, feminine games, I'm talking about, is this triggered? Would this trigger somebody hypothetically? Uh, I'm talking about like Sybil, which was fantastic. Men can't play women games? No, I'm playing it. That's That should answer your question alone right there. Let's go. Hold on. Just wait. Let me introduce it. It might trigger you. Don't, listen, don't get triggered. No triggering. No triggers. I get triggered by triggers, dude. When you get triggered, I get triggered. I'm like a person who throws up when they see vomit. Or that might only be in movies. Like, it's just, when someone gets triggered, I get triggered. Just, I feel the energy, man. Sims is quite popular among females. Well, Sims is just, you know, any game is for anybody. I'm just saying, like, the subject material revolves around feminine things. I don't know, dude. Mm-hmm. All right, <coughs> this game is uh, this game is called "The Average Everyday Adventures of Samantha Brown," and uh, prepare for this description: an interactive story about a painfully introverted college student who must find a way to make some oatmeal in the communal kitchen, communal, communal, communal kitchen of her dorm. One simple task: can you help her complete it? Hey, this already sounds like a fucking children's book. Okay? Yeah, Slap Factory is the one who tweeted it to me. So. Communist Kitchen. Dude, the Communist Kitchen is the best, man. Because you don't have to worry about people taking, you know, extra rations. They distribute it. You don't even gotta pay, dude. You pay with your work. All right, it's time. Uh, uh, let's do it. I wonder if this is in the games list. Probably not. It's probably uh, hmm. Uh, there's the Avengers. And the Avatar Legends. I'm going to put it as the Avatar Legends. Hopefully no one looking for the Avatar Legends comes in here. And then finds me making oatmeal in a dorm. Because that's probably not what that other game is about. So, ready. Alright. This is going to go poorly, dude. Whenever I play a game like this, I get very critical. Ignore that. 
we're here, dude. Shut the fuck up. Uh, this is the music. I made it in Fruity Loops. Yeah! Wait, does anyone here eat oatmeal in a mug? Do you not own a bowl? Why would you choose a mug? Dude, this music is so epic for the subject material. Alright, so this is supposed to be about social anxiety more so than, you know, oatmeal, obviously. Don't hate this already, dude. Let's give it a try. As a person, you know, I'm not exactly the socialite, a socialite. I've been a, some. I've been anxious in my lifetime. Hold on, let me fix this. Let's just get this right, because this is an experience I want us to remember forever. All right, my hair is fucking wild. All right, let's begin, dude. Let me see where to begin. Somewhere in the middle of a country. Oh God, she's from the UK. Where people are great. All right, she's right here, man. This is the, this is the UK thing. Well, to be slightly more specific, the, the girl lived at a university in the middle of the country. Okay, okay. She lived in one of the most remote dorms on the university's campus. Okay, okay. But no one at her school called it a dorm. They all called it a flat, so that's what she called it. But she was calling it a dorm. Narrator. Her name was Samantha, and there wasn't anything particularly interesting about her. Good way to start up the story, by the way. This is the main character of our story. Nothing interesting about her. She's chill. She's fine. Uh, she's just a person. A bag of flesh. It was just another weeknight. Or maybe it was the weekend. Samantha wasn't entirely sure, nor did she really care. This is great, dude. This is just a great setup. When I... Listen, I'm, I write... When I write, I want people to know that my uh, my main character has no distinguishable attributes. Doesn't care about the day. You know, nothing nothing going for her. She spends most of her time alone in a room. The only time she's not in a room is when she's in class, at the library, or hiding in a corner somewhere drinking coffee. Woo! Let me move this up. Samantha's been sitting in her bed for the last six hours, waiting for everyone to fall asleep. She's hoping to catch the kitchen in a rare state of, of abandonment. <sighs> They've abandoned the kitchen, dude. And this is where we join her. Oh, before I get, watch for the, before I forget, watch out for the hunger meter. I remember, I remember distinctly writing a story with an introduction kind of like this. Like, speaking about our narrator in the third person like introducing it this way and my <laughs> my professor was like don't do this ever again so I'm having flashbacks dude all right this is there to let you know how hungry Sam is getting but be careful too many wrong decisions and something terrible could happen so why why do I care like why why should I have any interest in this narrator what what do I care about? Okay, what do you mean by terrible? Let's see. Terrible, uh, extremely or distressingly bad or serious. Alright then, please carry on. Yeah, what is- what- what is terrible? What's the- Is she gonna fucking just off herself? <laughs> to move forward in the story, simply click on the dialogue box. If you need to return to the main menu- okay, whatever, blah blah blah. Get out of here, narrator. You did nothing for me. You you did absolutely nothing. What'd you do today, my sweets? Is this another sordid online love affair, dude? If I get another game like this and they're just fucking online, I can't. I need to get out. Charbot, dude. Charbot? Sam Cat, the usual. Did some homework, watched my show, drank obscene amounts of coffee. Do you think anyone would be in the kitchen right now? She's asking this fucking 
cool dog about the kitchen at her dorm, man. At her flat. Okay. Uh, do I tell him the truth about why I'm scared about the kitchen? Let me tell him the truth. Well, you see, uh, Charlie, I have uh, social anxiety, which makes me afraid to fucking get oatmeal out of a kitchen. I don't want anyone to see me making the oatmeal. Okay, is this a rational fear? You see, I'm a man who's had some social anxiety, and sometimes I don't want people to see me. But to go into a kitchen and make oatmeal and leave? You ain't got time to nobody, dude. Don't get it twisted. I'm not actually hey. making pictures of their dicks. But they're going to think I am. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. Listen. To all social you To all social anxious people, including you, Cameron. We're gonna solve you by the end of the stream, right? We're gonna solve your issues, and thank you, by the way. We're gonna do it. Do you really think people care? No, people don't care. You don't understand. And she's noting through this uh, smiley face that she's like, don't test me, all right? This is just who I am, okay? This is something inside of me, Charbot. Have you had dinner yet? Sam! This is a good guy. He's concerned about our welfare. Sam, have dinner! Well, I was going to get food and then the grocery store was closed and... I was watching my show and I was all, I could go make oatmeal or just eat a flapjack from the vending machine. Wait, flap, flapjack from the vending machine? What the fuck is going on in the UK, dude? You got pancakes in your vending machines? Alright. I'm not entirely sure what a flapjack... I'm wasting my time. Alright, I swear if I see anyone, here I go. This is a terrifying reality, dude. I can do this. Let's 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 get her through this shit. I just have to get out of bed, get the oatmeal, and walk to the kitchen. That's easy. People walk to the kitchens every day. See the oatmeal is just right there. This is good, okay. Listen, we need we need subject material for this game. It's about social anxiety. It's not about picking oatmeal off a fucking counter. Just grab it. You don't need to walk me through this. Uh, let's get a uh, all right. Blueberries and cream, maple and walnuts, apples and cinnamon. I personally would go for maple and walnuts. You don't have real. You don't got no real good ass blueberries and apples. You're wasting time. Maple and walnuts. But. but the you're you! <laughs> You're you! You make the decision! I don't know what you like, bitch! I don't know! Oh. Should I make one, two? Make three, alright? Just gorge yourself. I don't care about you. Get sick, I don't care. If you're just gonna complain to me about decisions you're making me make, you can do this yourself. You're you. I'm out of here. I can't eat three packets of flipping oatmeal. That's like 190 grams of sugar or something. What if someone saw me eating three entire packets? They'd be all like, how can anyone, someone even consume that much oatmeal at once? Then don't do it. Let's try it again. <laughs> Two packets. Eat more. Damn it. Ha. Whoa! I made a choice. I still need something to eat this with. Okay, so let's just think about the character arc of Samantha. We're told by the narrator that she there's nothing notable, notable about her, nothing too special. And then she chastises us for decisions she's making, like allegedly, for inside of her. It's so much, dude. All right, let's do it. This is cutesy, dude. 
the only game show where you choose that spoon. Please choose that spoon. You guys enjoying this? Now I have to grab my mug and off we go. All right. Mug oatmeal check. For the, yeah, I think that's it. Just wait on a minute. What if someone's in the hallway? This game is just... This is just... What if someone's over there? I understand social anxiety, right? I understand the tenets of social anxiety that you don't want to be around people. But this game depicting it is just... What if someone's in there? What if someone's over there? I'm going to be so anxious in these situations. Yeah, go. I don't give a shit. Just get angry, you're fine. Okay. I have to walk all the way down there. You're, you're kind of wasting my time. Just uh, go. Move it, lady. I'm going to keep making her mad. Let's see what happens. I just have to take this one step at a time. Thing is, I'm just not a people person. I understand. This is exactly what social anxiety is like, though, right? You you get kind of like the effect of if you took acid. It's just, whoa! <laughs> the prospect of seeing people. My eyes are crossing, dude. Alright. How many in the... Blah, 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 blah. Here I am creeping like a creeper. Bah! Shit. Is someone coming? Okay, false alarm. Onward. I just want to eat my oatmeal in peace. I don't want to see anyone. For real, why'd you even go to fucking college, dude? You go to class. <laughs> There's tons of people everywhere. Everywhere you go. Maybe you weren't ready for this. Uh, last time I talked to someone, they told me I did my eyeliner wrong. Holy shit. What? Small eyes, that's what she told me. She, it made my eyes look small, and I should trust her because she knew how to do makeup. Whoa! I wear makeup every day. She's saying I don't know how to do my own makeup because that's super rude. Like, how can you be afraid of talking about my face when we've known each other for like five minutes? Is that the light? Oh my god, what if people are in there or worse? How are you even thinking so fast, dude? She's got some, uh... She's got a, a lot of thoughts. This left ear, uh... Bell noises, man. They're pretty dope. Probably. Sorry, I didn't see that, but probably is the better answer. I ain't running, dude. I, I don't. I can't spend another woman woman with this minute. I can't spend another w minute with this woman. Nightmare confirmed. Should I say hello? What should I do? Let's force her to talk. <laughs> I'm doing everything wrong. I'm trying, dude. Yeah, they would just ignore her. I, this is really the most infuriating game of all time. I could tell them I haven't even had dinner yet. That's stupid. Why would I say that? Did she leave? There, I made it. So I can't use any pots and pans because I don't technically own any, but there's the electric kettle. I'm assuming you can use that. Okay. I've, I've located the primary issue, alright? Now, and this music is just completely apt right now. Uh, your, your main line of thought should be, I don't own anything. Whose shit am I going to use to make this oatmeal? But, she's just a, she's just a horrible person. Never actually used one of these but it can't be that hard to figure it out. Because this shit definitely belongs to somebody, dude. What's that coil about? Do I take that thing out? Hell yeah, dude, take that shit out. This is just a person with no real talents 
no uh, no knowledge of how to use a kettle which by the way is the easiest thing in the world to do how can I electrocute her? can I end this game do I wait here while this heats up or do I go back to my room it heats up in like two seconds baby what should I do wait there you dumbass For real, an English person can't use a kettle. Aren't you guys fucking making tea all the time? Aren't you guys just pouring tea directly from your la your the tree to the mouth, right? You're just chewing on tea leaves. Oh shit, did she attach? I don't appreciate how those girls were looking at me. What? That's pretty weird. Let's get these packets ready. Tear them open. Alright. Maybe she'll get third degree burns? Yeah, maybe she's just so confused she'll just pour the water all over herself in a moment of panic. And now... It's like, what, wait, you have a mug but you don't know how to use a kettle? I'm so confused. I right, wait. Ha ha, he he he. Man, what's so funny? This has happened before, dude. Everybody's heard someone laughing at some point. And you're like, in your heart of hearts, you're like, are they laughing at me? <laughs> it's a relatable moment. Thank you, Samantha. You've t you've trans- oh, shit. This is why I don't talk to people, dude. What can I do to waste some time while this cooks? You should journal about this very moment. Clean, hide in the corner. Clean up! Be of some use to the world. Yes, cleaning. This is a totally normal person thing. What the f- Why are you so useless, Samantha? Hey, everything okay in here? No, it's not. The sound is traveling throughout my headphones at a rapid pace. You fit- That's the ending, dude. No, it's not okay. <laughs> That's the game end, dude. No, it's not okay. I'll never come back from this. Just a random thing, like, it's a good game, dude. All right. All right, yeah, 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 go. Alright. Oh, shit, what the fuck did I do? What the fuck am I doing? Alright, wait, wait, wait. I gotta take it slow. I can't click on the moments. Wait. I ruined her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even hungry. Is she dead? I'm sorry, if we rid the world of this character, what we lose out on, dude? She doesn't even come out anyway, man. There's nothing special about it. The narrator said it herself. Yeah. You have failed in your quest to get this chick some stuff. What if someone's in the hallway? Go. All right. Bop, 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 bop. Move it. This helps you with your social anxiety because it makes you realize how little things don't really matter. Hey man, if it helps, it helps. I'm arguing from a point of view of a person actually playing this game and dying inside. Probably. Don't say hi, okay? Let's beat this game, dude. What's wrong with her fingers? You see, you're the person who gave this woman social anxiety. You got, you say something about her fingers, then she never she'll never come out of, come outside again. All right, don't say shit, dude. Screw them. It's like yeah, I'm going to make oatmeal. What about it? Everybody thinks oatmeal is gross. I don't really think so. 
But it's really good and it sweeps cholesterol from the arteries and that seems important. She knows a lot about the uh, health benefits of oatmeal. Yeah. Now what? Wait here. I guess I shouldn't be thinking. Just don't think. Just don't think, Samantha. You can do this. We can do it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Pour that shit, boo. And don't clean. Because if you, if you clean, you'll get the bad end. Oh, wait. Ha ha he he. Think, Sam. What can I do to waste some time while this cooks? Because I can't stand here looking at the oatmeal like an idiot. Hide in the corner. <laughs> That's the other option. The corner is good because no one can see me here. <laughs> I don't want to know, listen. I don't want to listen to her thoughts, dude. I'm not clicking. I'm letting the timer run. I don't want to live in her head, dude. It sucks here. Why don't you just walk away with it? Please be something resembling cooked food. Uh, bitch? What could that be, dude? Bitch? There's five, there's five letters. Shits? Cocks? How is this not even close to being done? Now what? Try the microwave? Micro. Venus? Pubes? Pubes! It's gonna overflow. Uh oh. Stir it. Yeah, girl. If you knock that shit over and break it, dude. We gotta stick to it. Oh! Hey, BMC. I appreciate that, but how are you gonna bring that devil into my stream, dude? Oh, can't you see I'm just having a struggle here as it is? God bless you, though. For real, did she not read the instructions? What's wrong with her? There's something wrong with this woman beyond social anxiety. She just has no skills. No knowledge. Wait. I, uh, I'd like to think that she's not actually at a university dorm. She's actually in a mental asylum. She's got, like, the Ellen Page thing going in Beyond Two Worlds. That's it. It's done. It's gotta be. Fudge cake. Why would you grab it? How the hell am I supposed to get it out? Maybe use your shirt? Take your shirt off and use it. I guess I'll take out the cup and use my shirt like a... Uh, I think this is actually working. I'm leaving so you can have your precious kitchen back. You see, she just hates everybody, man. She, in her mind, is so much anger... ...and fucking rage, dude. Not only is she an introvert, she blames the world for it. This is my kind of protagonist. How can she see with the uh, hair over her face? 
Just gotta go, gotta get back to my room. Almost there, unlock my door. I guess I should put my cup down? Yes. Nice. Wait. Wait, ah, oh, fuck, how long are you gonna keep me in this hell? I can't believe I forgot my keys. Shit. Did, did I lose? Did I lose? Oh! What's happening? It's occurring. Sam? Where are you? I'm worried. <laughs> wow, this is so ominous, dude. She can just jump off the building? What the fuck? Bad end, man. No. Because you gotta get your fucking keys. What about the things? Oh, God! <sighs> I got it, dude. I beat the game. I beat the game, guys. Don't worry, we'll get through this. We'll get through this, man. That's all, that's... That's it, dude. Your choices do matter. And they're not just like a coin flip, alright? Artificial difficulty indeed. Alright, we got this. Yeah! I got locked out of my room in college too, man. And I was really drunk. <laughs> it was bad time. And I had to call, like, the hotline. Like... <laughs> like, really just, like, fucking... I LOST MY KEYS! <laughs> When Jesse lived with me, we subletted a place for like a month before we found an actual apartment. And like at this place, our landlord was this old ass dude. Like he he had to be like 85, and he was just the worst. Like one time we got locked out, and we went and knocked on his door, and we're like we locked ourselves out of our apartment. And he's like, "Why do you expect me to do about it?" Like what the fuck? <laughs> You're the worst landlord ever. <laughs> Unlock my goddamn door. You old ass dude. He he ha ha he he. Hide in the corner, boo. What do you expect me to do? Open your door? I'm old. And he actually didn't have the keys, so he had to call, like, the owner of the complex who, like, fucking drove over from, like, across Los Angeles. It was a good time, dude. It was better than this game. Just eat it now, try the microwave. Here we go, guys. Are you excited? We're back in it. Stir it. Uh, gotta cook it. Listen, we gotta get it perfectly, dude. I got an achievement last time I finished this, by the way. I can pay what I want for Sybil on Humble Bundle. How much? Do you have $100? That's how much I'd pay for the experience of that game again. Samantha needs food badly. Well, Samantha will get her fucking food, alright? Does she deserve it, on the other hand? What is she offering society? 
Because I there hasn't been one positive trade of battery. Like we're you gotta give me something, all right? You can't give me this extremely unlikable narrator who's the sole character in this story, and fucking just pound me with her. Uh, she chastises me for every decision I make. This makes Sybil look like a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> Samantha, a 12 year old in college? It seems like it, dude. When I was fucking 18, or, or however old this woman is, man, I knew how to microwave shit. I can make oatmeal because you read the package and then you <laughs> just take it from there. And listen, also note. That when she looked at the box of oatmeal, she said that that flavor isn't her favorite of the three. So she's done this before. But how do you, like, how do you fail this miserably when this is your second time? Yes. We did it! We did it! If I... If I fucking fail, somehow... Ooh! I'm gonna be mad. And now... I eat. That wasn't even that bad. Congratulations, you helped Samantha make oatmeal. Wait, hold up. Alright, let's see how many people are involved. This girl, this girl, this girl, her brother, this girl, this guy. <laughs> Look at all the QA. <laughs> Look at all the QA, dude. Uh, the, the music was dope. Shout out to uh, Adriana Kirkle. I'm like, uh, I'm very excited about all this. Thank you for the font, Kimberly. I love it all, man. I love it! Thanks for- hey, fuck you. Get me out of here, please. And SamanthaBrown.exe has stopped working. What a game. What a game indeed. Lemon Sucker Games. Do they have any other games? Review? I don't know, dude. I always feel kind of dirty doing this. Reviewing these kind of games, man. Because, like... I'm not a big fan of killing people's dreams. Even though I do a lot of it, man, with my case shit. <laughs> But, uh, let's see. Let's see, mostly positive. Where's Lemon Sucker Games or whatever? Oh. 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 Bad review, Tumblr will find you. As a young lad who suffers from social anxiety, one time I shot my uh, best friend because he was making me so anxious. I try to find uh, games and media that address my condition. Uh, this, however, did not help me. When, when you're making 
stuff. Right? You want to make stuff that people want to play, right? So, if you have a character... Your main character, your main chapter, and there's absolutely, and wait, and she has zero redeeming qualities. <laughs> They're not gonna be too fun to play with. Etc. Fuck. Uh. Just give me something. Ah! I'd rather, uh, sit, I'd rather spend, wait, 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 I'd rather join a cult in which Jacob Sartorius, <laughs> in which the members hail Jacob Sartorius as the one and only God then spend another second with Samantha Brown that character that woman is so so damn useless she offers me nothing yet chastises me for not guessing her correct her <laughs> favorite flavor of oatmeal whoa I shot a brown bear in 93 god bless America Woo, woo! I miss Sybil. That game was dope. Alright, that's good. I think I, I couldn't just make a troll review, man. I had this is my this is a serious review in my book. I'm just frustrated. Man. I can't. All right, I gave it all. Let's look at positive reviews. Is this actually helpful for people? Oh wow, there's a skip function through holding control. That would have been helpful. Just press control to skip the dialogues. It's recommended, dude. Oh man. What this This is uh wait, where is where is this? A good easy playthrough and recommended for anybody who finds themselves bored. Why though? <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! This is by far the best visual novel I've ever played. Fuck! A true and accurate depiction of how a simple everyday task might be an impossible thing to do for a person with social anxiety. You know, you should get therapy, dude. Like therapy, dude. That shit helps. Whoa! It's a well-written story in what respect? The text is easy to read and easy to understand Is when it's not your native language. Wait, is this... Is this... This must be a bad game, dude. When the pro... 
of the game is the text is easy to read. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. I'm trying to die, dude. Great game. I want a series more of these games. Who the fuck microwaves their oatmeal? Andrea, must I beat the- Whoa! Beat the anxieties out of you with my belt? When this guy gives fucking- Jesus, dude. No! What is this? This is a- That is a girl I can relate to. While I don't got it near as bad as she does. There are certainly times and places I totally felt like that, and it seems everyone else is having a blast. This is the story of the internet, dude. As for the game itself, it is a short but well-made game. It's like a visual novel, but the story does actually change with what decisions are made in the game. I'd even be willing to a little for the episodes, me too. Me too, baby. Alright, let's see let's see these white males what they say. I don't wanna read this. Let me let me just bully this guy. Let me get right into it. Go! Attach Attach comment page. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> Didn't play yet, but by your description, I can agree with your review as I experienced SAD! <laughs> what? As I experienced SAD! And I was afraid of people- Oh no, social anxiety disorder! I thought he was just saying, I'm SAD! <laughs> oh, God, it's, an, it's, an, it's a fucking uh, it's, it's a thing. Got it. This is different feelings. Of course, sometimes I can get as angry as everyone else, but with sad. <laughs> this, this sounds like a product testimonial. They're gonna think I am. It's true, dude. Hey, thank you very much, Tom. That's true, dude. That's a true copy paste right there. That's my opinion. I'm sorry for my English if my message was hard to read. I am not a pro in English. I feel like so many like ESL people always sign off with that. I am sorry if English is not good. I feel bad for people that have to do that. Because really, they're bilingual, and, or possibly even more, and that's impressive. But they're always like, I am sorry, my humble person. <laughs> I'm sorry if I did not say the words exactly correctly, my friend. Okay. I loved the cleaning thing. I've done that so many times. He loved failing the game because he chose to clean and it just, just, it just made him start over. I have played this game and I have and am sad! Okay, that's done. Enough of this. Goodbye. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. My friend, I am sorry my humble words, my English speaking, is not to the level of a native speaker, but someday... Someday... I will achieve the language, man. Green light, empty horizons. What you got for me? Uh, Miss Moreno, you always have a choice. Is this a fucking white teenager from America making uh, making this kind of shit, dude? Makes me happy. After the death of her father. 
Muriel? Muriel, Majorano. You're telling me this girl is Italian? Please. Please. I've seen Italians, especially in Shenmue, they're always like, Come have a pizza! What the- wait, 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 what size difference? Size this differential, let's take a look. What the fuck is this car, dude? Where it- <laughs> What is this car? Look at- <laughs> That's such a big car, dude! Give me the full frame, I want this art. And she's like in between the seats. Hmm. But can he really be trusted? And does that really matter? This is really intense, dude. Wait, wait, wait. The age. Wait, are they in love interest? The age differential is. Looks ridiculous, man. Let's be honest. Y'all gotta stop with this shit, for real. Look at this. This looks like a grown ass man. Look how pointy his chin is, dude. His chin is. If you if you have a pointy ass chin, you've developed that much of a point, you gotta be fucking thirty or more. This looks like a fucking twelve year old. To <laughs> keep going back to this car art, dude, it's dope. Wait, please have the car art as a full frame? Damn it, they don't. Alright. The Italy-like story? I think it's a rare VN. Visual novel? Is that what this is? Okay. Oh, how I wish we could simply travel back to the age of the samurai. Then we... We wouldn't have to worry about these trivial romances and uh, instead fight to protect the rich from bandits and thieves. My only lover would be my blade. <laughs> I have sad and posting comments here helps me reach out to the world. <laughs> Woo! Ah. Let's find, let's find a bad one. That looks like a reputable company who makes shit with kids that look too young falling in love with men who look too old. Alright, let's find a let's find a real bad game. Where are the bad games, dude? Greenlight me some r real shit games, man. Axis football? You, this guy knows what, like, historically, the Axis... This can't be the Axis Axis, right? All 2006. Welcome to Axis Football 2016. Hell yeah. Oh man, dude. Uh, this is like for someone who wants to return to the days of Madden 2003. Like, these new Madden games, dude, they're too realistic, alright? I want to go back to when the graphics and animations were bad. Look at this guy's name. O. Moroncola? Sounds like a fucking soda company for dumbasses. Chicago Grizzlies, all wrong. That team doesn't exist. No, wrong. Wrong play. 
Damn, look at that fucking 180 throw. Alright, you convinced me, dude. Look at this. Oh, that's that shit I'm talking about right there. Oh, this is dope, dude. Let me ask him a really confusing question and see if he gets back to me. Because he gets back pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. <laughs> is this game good for people with sad? In the past, my sad is bad. Okay. That'll get him. Could you possibly make this game... Could you possibly add a reference to sad into your game? It seems developers these days aren't giving any sort of support to those with sad. I'm asking this football guy to add a reference to social anxiety disorder <laughs> into his football game. <laughs> I wonder if he'll do it. Like, he's green lighting, so he might be desperate. He might be like, yeah, sure, we'll add a socially anxious football player. He'll be on the bench. Survival Diary. Oh, this looks like some good stuff. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. But then again, this is kind of like the Dark Hero cinematics. A new plague has been unleashed. <laughs> we are sad. Social anxiety disorder is a real thing, dude. When I was a teen, dude, I didn't talk to fucking nobody. Now that I'm an adult, I don't talk to nobody except for this camera, which transmits to like 500 people. But they're not here, so I can make oatmeal all I want on camera. It's dope. Wait, look at the body type here, dude. What is this pose? This po what ha what's his left arm? His left arm has to be like grabbing his own ass at this angle. What is it like fucking Oh Hold on, let me let me try and Yeah, this is it. This is the pose. Nope. Oh, get wait, get it back there. Oh That's good. I like that. What is this, dude? Is this a Pokemon? The whole game is in this book. That's next level, dude. Whoa! The way you explain the gameplay in the trailer is poorly executed. Starting at 39, you have paragraphs of text on the left explaining your game. No one is gonna pause the video and read all of that in a trailer. <laughs> Why not, dude? <laughs> if I was actually, like, looking to... to, uh... you know, analyze the concept of this game, yes, I'd pause and read it. Show! Don't tell. You see, this guy is the reason all these... these second language uh, English guys are writing this fucking... Uh, info about how they, they, they don't know English that well. Because look at this guy. What's worse, these walls of text are in broken English and don't make, and make little sense to a native English speaker. You see, he's shaming them. That's why they're like, my humble friend. <laughs> my humble friend. I do not mean to burden you with my lack of knowledge about the English language. See? Fer Ferris Bueller. You better... Back the heck off! Our <laughs> sad boys. 
uh, often lack knowledge of the English language because we're too busy uh, avoiding people. So next time, think about this Russian man's feelings before you go casting stones. When you live inside of a glass home, you might throw a rock at your own house, destroying it forever. Hope you got insurance, bud. Jesus Christ, okay. Alright, I gotta give this guy a yes. Oh wait, seasonal affective disorder? Now that one's a little... Woo! Now listen, I get sad when winter comes around. I get a little depressed, alright? So, listen. But I think, I think it's social anxiety disorder and seasonal affective disorder. Rock on, dude. Either way. Now, listen, I never again will I criticize anybody's English unless they're a, a hot-blooded American, okay? This is my promise to you today. Alright? Um, let's, let's all change our ways. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Enhance! Wait, enhance, enhance, damn it, whatever, just click it. This looks fucking dope, dude. Well, can I get a screenshot of just that? Damn it. This game looks sick, sick, the gods chain. The day game. When we found our ball. Dude. You better narrate this shit. What's happening? What the fuck is occurring? You're gonna show me empty rooms, dude? Partner with AdRev and make money on YouTube. Should I do that, dude? Sounds like a good idea. I need to understand what this man is telling me to move on with my life. Human beings were an experiment. Human being who human beings were experiment. Human beings were an experiment. Human beings to learn experiment. Human human beings human beings were an experiment. Yeah. Which they wanted to destroy now. Which they wanted to destroy now? We had to fight our god. We had to fight fight our god? Or <laughs> what is this? Is this alien pissing? Rapid fire on the ground? Look at this. We had to fight our god. <laughs> if I came across that, I'd be like, all right, I'll leave you alone for a bit. I'll give you a second, buddy. For our existence. For our existence. <laughs> Jesus Christ, buddy! 
You didn't have to fucking destroy me to tell me that it was coming in 2015. Like, look at this shit. It's out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, empty room, empty room. Uh, empty room, empty room. Uh, empty forest. Yes, I would totally buy this shit. If he narrates it more. You should narrate more if this game gets green lighted. I agree. Human beings were in a, an experiment. And that alien pissing in the lake was just was just a thrill does, does that alien have sad let me know porn Listen, I'm not making fun. This is what he said. Humans, human beings were an experiment. The God's Chain is the best one so far, dude. It delivers on so many levels. I think I might be leaving this this uh, this world soon of st uh, steam green light, but I feel like. I need I need something good. Here's Sharktastic Yum Yums. Wait, what is this? Blast Shield. But then I saw mini golf. Mini golf in space with explosions. Uh Sharktastic Yum Yums. Wait, wonky seasons. Here we go, dude. <laughs> He's got my support. Wonky season. Oh, this shit looks dope. I can already tell. Massively multiplayer? Ooh. This looks like Jumpix Jump, man. <laughs> Yo, that frog threw a boomerang at a giant beetle. Look at this. Oh, that's so dope. This is gonna be so sick. I'm so sick. Wait, I'm sick? No, this is sick. He's going to the graveyard? Why? Yo, this needs to come out, man, so we can all play it together, dude. We can all play Wonky Seasons together. This has to come out. Subserver. Yeah, subserver on Wonky Seasons. Create quests. Wait, complete quest, sorry. This looks like it's uh, just on the verge of being completed. Go to the mercantile. Play with friends. Oh, look at that, dude. That looks so smooth. Look at that. Fluid motion. Yes, absolutely, yes. I am so in it. Uh. <laughs> I can't wait to play this. Will you please add Jumpix Jump 
as a playable character. Thank you. Sad corn society. Human being th core an experiment. We have some sweary sixty five games. Wasps. This one's gonna be dope. This looks nothing like B movie. It's the reason why it was B movie and not Wasp movie. Is this VR? This is like a YouTube game right here, dude. VR. I don't do it. Star Scream on Orion. These space ones are like almost always good. Like this just looks like a fun time. This looks like a fun time if you're just looking for like a little more incentive to leave this planet. Ninja Turner. It really is turning, dude. Wait, 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 wait. I saw something that looks like a stick figure game. Oh my god, this looks like. This is his presentation to us. Wait, favorite? No, unfavorite. Would you buy this game? Yes, dude, absolutely. Alright, one more good one and we out. Dead Man Ranch? Is this dude this has turned into Castle Wolfenstein man mom this is couple Castle Wolfenstein man the first half and second half of this were just different games no go go mouse go go mouse it's a game for kids adults stay away game you give your kids if you don't want them to experience good games. Listen, just give your kids putt-putt. They don't need go-go mouse, alright? What they need... What they need is just like all of putt-putt's adventures, right? Yeah, teach, uh, teach your kids how to use scissors to uh, destroy their foes. Holy shit, all these cupcake games? Keep it to one at a time, alright, Daisy? Oh, this looks fucking dope! Alien Insects Invasion? It's not as cool as it seems. New York, New York, 2017. This looks like a failure right here. Gravity Cat? Oh my god. Is this a meme game? It's an AVGN fan game? Is 
that somebody giving the angry video game nerd a prostate exam? Oh lord. What a fantastic game. The story of Thoth. I'm still looking for my finisher game. That this looks like the most boring shit of all time. It's just lore. It's just all lore. I think we, we were back here the other day. Alright, it looks like I'm not gonna get my special my special one. It's a goddamn shame. The story of thought. That would be a good story. That'd be more entertaining than uh, the story of Thoth. Thoth. Chicago chess? It's just chess with a couple cops. <laughs> this looks so dope. This alright, I I I definitely do this. You got it, dude. That looks fucking sick. Doesn't this look exciting? Let's see. Is there Where's the uh never mind. I don't even think a uh, funny gingerbread is <laughs> really in this 100%. It's on the very last page. Is this where the real trash is? Alright, that's enough of these. What now? Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Wait, it was Ferris Bueller, dude? Oh man, he's everywhere. Sim Kickstarter Baseball Club Marion. Huh? Huh? Play a game that we've never seen before. I don't know if I have many of those, man. Have you guys seen Jumpix Jump? That's a pretty good game. That game is pretty wild. Bully is on Steam. Listen, I've had enough of bullies in high school. We watch now you see now you see me the movie. That's a pretty good game. That's listen, games in general are just really fun. From uh, what I've seen in my life, I love games. Love botology. Life is strange. I don't have that installed. That's a big ass game. This time you are the bully? No. Listen, I'm not a bully, alright? I'm anything but. Josephine! Thank you for that subscription. Where is the alert? Where the hell is the alert? Hey! There it is. Alright. What can I... Let's see. Let's look at the games list. 
was just a great game. What the fuck is Devil Daggers? No, this looks terrible. You wish the best for me and my cats. Thank you. You know, I think this stream is less about games anyway. And more about guessing the ge geographical location of things. So I want to play some geo guess here, dude. I don't feel like like playing a game game right now. I feel like just chilling. You guys understand? Let's just let's chill. Let's make a song. I could do that too, but right now I want to play Geo Guessy. Here we go. Okay. This is where GeoGuessr begins. I was about to say America, but when I see this, this doesn't look American, alright? This is classic Polish architecture. Alright, let's let's see. Oh, the people! Now the people are exactly what you need to find. This dude doesn't even fucking know. The Google car passes him and he doesn't even fucking look. That's how old this man is, dude. Nothing is interesting anymore because he has to look down in front of him. Somewhere in Scandinavia? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Look at that benzo though. Arizona? No, nah, dude. Have you ever listen, have you ever seen a building like this in America? Look at this fucking thing, dude. I've never seen this in America in my life. Nothing screams Europe more than some fucking octagonal building <laughs> with the triangle roof. We don't have those. We've never Come to my hut. Yeah, dude, a fucking gnome lives in there and shit. Finland? I, I feel you on that. This, this looks nice, though, alright? It looks quaint, as they say. I'd live here. I'd stream from out here. Is there a grocery store nearby? 23? Alright, let's let's just we gotta take a guess. We gotta take a wild guess. I don't think we're gonna get anything. Let's go. Alright, Finland's a good guess because it's just all north. I'm gonna guess southern Finland. Give me a go at oh, it's northern Finland. Finland was right though. It's not bad. Oh shit. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is that South American mess right here man I'm loving this that's what I live for Panderia Panaderia El Buen Sabor this is Mexico Colombia we're here dude Colombia and you know what this shit is right here dude north of Bogota 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 nice dude Nailed it. Oh fuck. These are the worst, man. These are the worst. Why? Why do you put me here? Let's see. Let's find a car. Wait. This might just be Finland again. <laughs> you gotta be joshing me with this. Oh. 
take a look at this guy. Let me take a little peek. What the fuck? You narrow man. Enhance! I see white skin. Which means that it's from one of the countries where white people are. God damn this man in his narrow trunk. <laughs> it makes it look so narrow. Like he's standing up in the air driving. Oh man. What a guy, dude. In his standing truck. It's definitely Africa. Oh, there was this uh, road sign. Kusamo. Alright, where's Kusamo? It's 50 miles away. Give it to me. Oh! Here it is. I feel like it's right here. I guess south, it's north, but hey, that's very close. I found it, dude, so fast. Oh shit, what the fuck? What? I'm in like a nail salon. What? What's happening? Oh, it's a jewelry store. What the fuck? They, they rarely put me inside, dude. What? I'm going upstairs? Oh. Wait, I'm upstairs! What's happening? I'm normally not this good at it. I've had some lucky guesses. Can I go into the woman's changing room? <laughs> Does it make sense? I'm not in a fucking dormitory. I'm freaking out. India? Where in India, though? This does seem... Indian. How am I supposed to guess? India's big, dude. What's an especially affluent city? Where do they build those super mansions? Those skyscraper mansions? Is that Mumbai? Thailand? Bangladesh? I wish I could just see the faces. Let me see your face. Thailand. I can see it. I can I can I think I'll go with you guys. You think this is a building in Mumbai and Overwatch? Where's Overwatch on the map? Alright, so... I'm gonna go... This is... we gotta just give it up. Let's just go right here because it's in the middle of it all fuck it fuck if I followed my heart Mumbai's like right here though so it would have been essentially the same distance whatever still a good game so far alright we're in Arizona here he is dude this is my dad Dad, what are you doing here? Dad? No, it's my dad. My dad's not in Australia, guys. Never seen this Chevrolet type logo before. Red dirt. This means it is Africa. Whoa! Ghost car! It's Australia. We've seen the Australian ghost car. Oh 
Oh, dude, they only make cars that tiny in Australia. Wait, which side? Which side of the road do they do in Australia? The ghost car is following me. Is it left side in Australia? The 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 roads, you know. Do I don't see many that look like that in America. Okay, you drive in the middle in in Australia. Damn, dude. That's net. That's nice, dude. Oh, and there you go. Just one. Of course, this could be. You know. There's there's Spanish stuff. What? Well, wait, 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 wait. It's it's Brazil. It's Brazil. The ultimate twist. Brazil. It's BR. And Brazil always fucks me too, man. Because it's so big. It's more a desert area, so... Maybe in here somewhere? See, look at this tiny car. What? Who does that guy think he is? Come to be on. Come to Brazil. I'm sorry, my friend. My second language is not that coherent to you, first world English speakers. All right, I'm gonna guess right here. Boom, I win. Give me the money. That's not bad for Brazil. Not bad at all. This was actually a great game. 18k. It was just that one that got me bad. Ooh. This might be the highest ever. What's this? Guys? Hello? Who's been on this road here? This one is just, they're ruining me. Alright. Uh, can someone enhance this? Enhance this woman. The Philippines, Vietnam. I was thinking Philippines. Enhanced nudity? No! Okay. Can someone identify- do we have an anthropologist in here? Is that a fucking hippo? No, it's not a hippo. From the ass it looks like- Wait, what the fuck is this, dude? What is this creature? All I've seen in my life are coyotes. Is this thing okay? Does it need help? It's obviously- It's a taper? A water cow. It's the one to go. Oh shit, dude! Don't call it a degenerate. You don't know its character. All right. A tapir. Mutant steak? A mistake. Whatever it is, I'm gonna kill it and eat. It doesn't look like it'd be very delicious. I heard the theme laughing very loudly. Please stop.
Hey, keep it down. Jesus. All right, what's happening here? These men are the secret. Oh, there they are. Is this Vietnam? It looks kind of... Cambodia, Vietnam, somewhere like that. Maybe if I hit the border... It's right there, dude. Cambodia. Boom! Three men, one by bicycle. Thailand, wow. At least, if we had chosen the Philippines, we would have been very far away, so not too bad. Not too bad, my friends. Hurry up. What's happening here? Come on, GeoGuessr. How did my life end up the way it is, dude? I could have been... Listen, as a youth, I never rode with my two friends on one bicycle. Alright, we good. America. It's America, dude. It's so American. Look at this wide-ass road, dude. We don't give a shit. We'll make a road this wide. Who cares? Try us. Look at this shit. Look how wide this is. My guess is... Alright. From what I know about America. It is somewhere... Here. Let me get a peek at that license plate. Baby girl. What's... Wait, what's this? What you got right here? Oh, there's a Mickey D's, dude. This is where you load up. You get the $20 chicken... I mean, the 20 chicken nugget special. You can tell a lot from... A place's gas stations, by the way. Like this gas station? Is that a shell? What the fuck is that, dude? Hard rock gas? Huni Bra Brew Black Rock Deli. What? Hunt Brothers Pizza? These are two establishments I've never heard of in my life. I wonder which Hunt it is, if it's Mike Hunt. Wait, blue license plate? Come on, we're slowly getting behind him. So slowly, ever so slowly, we can get a peek at his butt. Southeast? Give me a little peek of that ass. What the fuck? Clean your license plate, dude. Look how dirty that is. He's been mudding. I took the truck out mudding. I didn't wipe my license plate yet. That way the cops can't identify me. This is northeast. Yeah, no front license. It's definitely not California. They'll pull you over for that shit. That's NC. Oh. NC. That means it's right here. Boom. Got it. One love. It was Eastern. Eastern North Carolina. Right by the ocean. Why is this why is this state so wide to begin with? Alright. Alright, this is very familiar to me. I was actually born right down let me show you where I was born. I was born right down the street. This is my neighbor. His name's Tonka. Uh 
this is actually my house right here. This pink, this pink joint. Wow, there used to be this wonderful two-story craftsman home right here, and they they must have took it down. Wow. It, the neighborhood sure has changed. The old neighborhood. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, and this is uh, the local Kimo Boha da Kovo. It's pretty good. Please don't talk shit about my neighbor. He's a good dude. The only crime he's ever committed is possibly loving his fellow man too much. This is the church I would pray at as a youngin. Serbia? It's probably a good neighborhood too. Poli... What's a... Dude, what's a... What the fuck is the po a polisija? Listen, I need police, not a polisija. Please do not talk shit about this place. Here we go. Dakovo or Gasinci? What you want? I can take you two places. Uh, Poland? Let's check out. Let's check out Poland. Poland's too big, dude. Where's Dakovo? Croatia? First off, these aren't even English words. These guys are just... They're all over the place. Like you're embarrassing yourself with these words. Alright, let's see. We're close. Hmm. Eastern North Carolina, no. I can... I can pretty much confirm that that is not the case. God damn. It's Cali? No. Why even suggest that? I Listen, I was born and raised in that country. I would have noticed this. Alright. Wow, it's right here. I found it. Boom. Boom. There it is. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> nice. Alright, I guess that I guess it was three point six miles away. Wow. Fantastic. That's that, that's that big one. Here we go. Sweet, sweet America. This is where I want to be. Or possibly. Whoa! It could be Australia. It's definitely not America. So, I'm thinking Australia. Listen, I just know my Croatia. B double route. Bugen Road. Fucking Australia, dude. Listen. Ain't no other country naming their roads Bugen Road, dude. Oh, dude, I love Australians, man.
You guys are just all, you like my hair? You guys are always just like, Wooga Wooga Road! What are we gonna name this river? Let's name it Tonga Boo Boo. Oh, I'd love to go to the Innisfail Aquarium and <laughs> Fuck Center. I don't know, that's that's censored. Alright, you can't know that. Where's Innisfail? Those hills look like New Zealand. Kagorli! That's my favorite town. You grew up on that road? Don't lie to me. Don't you fucking lie to me. Didn't nobody grow up here but me. Birdsville? Is this where he starts from? Is that where he got his... his bird? Queensland. Look at all these... Look at all these towns, dude. Look at all these beautiful Australian towns. Toowoomba! Fantastic. I'm definitely gonna miss it. What is this? South of Johnstone. You're gonna act like you can hide that? I just saw it. In this fail and whoa shit this just turned into a goddamn a fucking uh, apocalyptic hellscape dude hell yeah in this fail and catnip all right South Johnson. Self Johnstone. You can, uh. If you talk trash about me, dude, I got two South Johnstones for you. Bulgabilla. There's too many fucking places, dude. It's right here. Fuck it. I win. Thank you. Give me my money now. Oh fuck, it's like way north. Jesus. That's why I couldn't find Innis Fail. It's Cali. This is, uh. beautiful. But it's not easy to locate. Ninety-eight percent of our population is on the coast? Oh, that's actually good to know. So when the brush fires happen, you just kind of chill. So yeah, I let it burn. We're all next to water anyway. Come get us. Is this Finland again? Thin trees? Yeah, classic Finland, dude. Your trees aren't even thick. It's embarrassing. Listen, where I'm from, dude, we got them thick ass trees, dude. Bushfire, not brushfire. Listen, the fact that you have so many bushes that you would classify it as a bushfire is embarrassing enough. Alright, why you got so many bushes? Wait, what was that? What's that say? Si o te canal supuesto! The fuck is that name? What is this? What is that name? That's not English. I streamed Overwatch once for a very brief duration of time. 
That's Canadian. I don't know what kind of Canadians you've been talking to. I think this is Finland again. Like, look, dude, they've got the skis and shit. It's in kilometers, not miles. Well, yeah, of course, but, you know, I have I only know miles, so it's kind of hard to adjust on the fly when I don't even know the actual country. Even though we're probably, like... What, what countries use miles other than America? Our system doesn't even make sense. That's the best part about it. Norway? Sweden. Either way, y'all be skiing a lot over there, man. Come on. Strap a snowboard, dude, and get gnarly like us. What? Whoa. I had an intense moment of dropping frames, but we're back. Alright, let's see what we got here. Siote? Where'd that be? Alright, I don't think it's here. You gotta look at the freeways to understand. Six? You got an 862 anywhere. Hmm. Let me take a look. You're saying it's in mid-Finland. Let's get right into Finland. Let's show them what's good. Swaziland? No. Who would be in Swaziland ever, dude? Nobody goes there. 99% of the population of the world is in America. Alright. So, it's right here. Checkmate. Burn. Whoa! Okay. Okay. God damn. Whoa! Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my god. What a beautiful time. What a time to be alive. Jesus. Oh my god, dude. That's that money right there. Got that big money. What other browser game can we play? I play Google Feud, but it always gives me the same shit. Do you think Google Feud will give me the same stuff if I get it? Will I be playing Wasted on stream, like, drunk? Or is there something called Wasted? Hold on, let's try Google Feud, let's see what happens. Play some Quop? Oh man. Classic. A classic game. All right, maximize. Let's see what happens, dude. Powdered. What do you guys think about powdered? Powdered sugar, milk, water? No. Hmm. Ooh. Powdered donuts. Yeah, dude. No wait, this is America. Nope. Powdered peanut. Wait, is that a thing? Whoa, it's all on the left side. What the fuck? Hold on. What? How did I do this before? I 
think I, I think I know how I did this. Hold up. Let me get this right. Fit to screen. Move this man here. Move this here. Alright. Let's go. Culture. 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 McDonald's versus Burger King. In and out. What? You already lost me. Taco Bell. Jack in the box. Subway? What is who would Google this? M McDonald's versus Chicago? Liebeck? Is that a, a, a lawsuit? Whatever. Is it like an epic rap battles of history? <laughs> Sports are gay. Didn't work. Sports are Wait, what? Next round? Okay, I guess I next round. Google feud. Google glass. Google mail. What? Google maps doc of course, what am I doing? I've done this before too. Island of gay. One? Why is it just giving me one try? Am I on the hard mode? What's happening, dude? Oh, Henry. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, my God. What the... F Why you skip... Google Feud is just fucking... It's falling apart. My best friend... Is a gay. Damn it, dude. Something on the keyboard? No. My hair is out of control today. My best friend is a dog? Uh, two? And now it's broken. What is happening? How to raise kids. How to raise... What? Ghost. Hmm. I'm really your best friend? Damn. How to raise a gay? No, no, no. How to raise money? Oh, nice. The dead? Oh. How to raise... Leap Luridons? <laughs> no. The roof? Really? Come on. How to raise your credit score? Chickens. HDL? How to raise a boring girlfriend? What? Oh, it's an anime. Okay. No thanks. How to raise a Wendigo? Tattoos are gay. Boom! Oh! The are gay options haven't been working out as I normally, as they normally are. Tattoos are cool, permanent, stupid, trashy, a sin, amen. Let's see this. Is tattoo a sin? Come on, Kurt Cameron. Get me there. I have a tattoo and I'm Christian. In fact, I was a Christian when I got the tattoo. <gasps> I've been told a tattoo is sinful because it's marking the body. Did I commit a sin and is my tattoo sinful? 
Answer, your question has two parts. Is getting a tattoo a sin, and is your tattoo a sin? There are many faithful Christians with tattoos, and there are a lot of Christians uh, with strong feelings pro and con about tattoos. Uh, some say getting a tattoo is a sin because in Leviticus... Isn't this just the ape shit book that's just, like, crazy about everything? The Bible forbids placing any type of mark on the body. How do you feel about this? Stop. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor tattoo any marks on you. I am the Lord! <laughs> I like that, dude. <laughs> I love that, dude. The Bible's so sick. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Uh, you gotta punch your son in the face. I am the Lord! You gotta do it! Man, the Bible's fucking awesome. Beautiful. I am the one to go! I sold all my clothes. I sold all my... I am the Lord! I sold all my... What could this possibly be? Children. Video games. Oh! Children. Kids. I sold. What the f I listen. I saw this in chat, and I was like, "That doesn't make any sense," unless it's like an anime or something. Oh, is it a RZA lyric? Damn. So fucking deep, dude. I hate it when you cry. Thieves Guild armor? Was that really there? I hate it when you gay? Fart? No, talk. No fart. Come on. Hiss and preach. Is this another anime? <laughs> Naughty boy la la la. It's a Naughty boy la 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 lyric. These are all fucking lyrics, dude. I hate it when you accidentally build a shelf. It's a meme. Help, I accidentally build a shelf. Whoa! Oh god. No. I don't like that. This, the people are too funny for me. My eyes look red. Tired. Woo! Those really aren't? Wow. My eyes look like I accidentally... Build, build a shelf. I know I spelled accidentally wrong. That's how it was spelled. All right. It's not gay, dude. All right, fine, gay. You you win. My eyes look to the hills. Oh shit, dude. I will lift mine. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer. Good. My eyes look weird in selfies. Why selfies sometimes look weird to this? No. Nine reasons you look awful in photos and how to fix them. Alright, let's see. Want to improve the way you look in portraits and improve or improve the portraits that you shoot? Here are nine common reasons people look awful in portraits. The shooting angle is too low. This is very important, guys. You can't look up, okay? You need to be eye level for that flattering photo, okay? You are too close or too far. You gotta find the sweet spot like this woman did. This is all really important, by the way. Your eyes have to be smiling. To give a confident eye smile, try a, a technique called squinching. 
This involves squinting the lower eyelid while allowing the top lid to come down slightly. Can I try that? Was that good, dude? <laughs> it's all about the squinch. Is this a video on it? It's a 15 minute video! Squinching. And this video is called It's All About the Squinch. It's the second in a video series that You I'm get to listen to the sociopath talk about squinching about for 15 minutes. It's like a million hits and it's gone crazy, so check it out on my YouTube. The Pier. All right? <laughs> 15 minutes Jesus dude your body position is wrong you should your shoulders should be about a, a 30 degree angle to the lens let me squinch and get the angle right there you go you smiled for too long and it went weird. Wow. Nice, dude. I'm going to get this right. You you weren't paying attention. Or you weren't ready. You pulled a face. You only took one photo. Why? What? This is all vanity, man. And these people are just so obsessed. Like, I have to get everything right. Did I switch correctly? Did I make the face? Oh my, is my angle right? Someone get a protractor! Ah! Nice. Fantastic. You look good in your own way. Wow. We are all different and that's what makes us wonderful, so don't shy, shy away from having your photo taken. That's <laughs> just like, you're doing everything wrong when you take a photo, that's why you look so ugly. Anyways, be positive and think you're beautiful, don't forget it. It's fantastic. Good stuff. I lied about my age. Bam, number one. I lied about my gender. Would you rather be ugly or not be able to squinch? Oh, ugly, for sure. Give it to me. I lied about my job. My abortion? That's deep, but let's go there. Sportion! I lied about my subortion. Sexuality, let's go. Damn. GPA? That's very... Don't do that, dude. GPAs? Very, very important. Listen, when you're fucking 50 years old, you're gonna be at the, uh, the retirement office. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, what was your GPA, you old shit? And you're gonna be like, it was uh, 1.0. And they're gonna kick you right out. I lied about my race. Do you ever lie about your race, ethnicity, culture? I lied about my ethnicity to get into a better college. Confession. <gasps> oh! I have an Italian last name, but I'm only 25% Italian. I wanted to get into one highly selective school, and my grades in ACT were only slightly above average. When they asked about my ethnicity, I put down Hispanic. <sighs> you know what? I sat here and I said I was 0.2% North African for credit, for a little street cred, and I am, but actually it's not relevant. Uh, this guy... That's, that's fantastic. It's all good. I'm an actual African, so, you know, I'm offended by all of this. Um, 
what do we got? Alive my salary, gender online, age online. You see, I almost had this shit. I just needed to put gender online. I lied about my gender online. Hopefully there's some juicy stories. Please help lie about gender online, Dot! I created a fake profile line. I used pictures of someone I know. I just playing around because I was curious. Well, I'm female and I made a profile for a male. I happened to meet someone on the site. We exchanged numbers and started talking. We talked for over a year. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This isn't just something that just happened to occur. <laughs> Before we were to meet in person, I told her the truth that I was really female, and she said she still wanted to meet, and that maybe we could talk things out. We met, and it was very short. I never heard from her again. I misled her, but do you think she might just be very angry? No! You lied about a very fundamental thing! You got, you, you're a catfisher. You're dirty. She was in love with the guy in the pictures, I know. But I'm still the same. This is always the shit they say, dude. But I'm still the same person on the inside. Then they flip it, and they're like, You didn't really love me for me. It's like, no, you fucking moron. Ugh. Ugh. Life is tough. I'm sorry. The people blaming you don't, don't seem to recognize you had genuine feelings for this person. You weren't maliciously leading her on. <coughs> you care about her and grew together. Who the fuck is this, man? This fucking apologist. Oh. I can't do it, man. Don't let her or others bully you or blame you for it because they are wrong and you didn't mean to hurt. You did nothing wrong. Alright, you lied and let a person on for, uh, over a year? But, hey, you're chill. You, you did it. I'm proud of you. It's a bugger lover. Fantastic. You see, this is this is terrible, dude. I hate the internet. My ears are gay. I can't. Okay, next round, I guess. It's not gonna let me go beyond that. My mom. I think my mom is a lesbian. Gay. Oh, there it is. There we go. Fantastic. I think my mom is, let's see, thick, crazy, F crazy, that's good, good job, cheating, oh cool, I'm not putting hot, okay, it's disgusted, it's disgustive, poisoning me, good god. I think my mom is possessed, dying, pregnant, jealous of me. Oh! Oh my god. I think my mom is jealous of me. So this might sound weird, but I was laying in bed after she yelled at me. The oh, okay! <sighs> Jesus. So I think she's jealous of me. She doesn't care about herself. She does drugs. Dresses in big old t-shirts that go down to her knees and have holes and stains on them. Sweatpants and messy hair. Jesus. Wow. She's always yelling at me and insulting me. Mainly when she drinks. She calls me a bitch. She says I'm ugly and conceited. Wow, we dude. This is bad, man. This is real bad. I don't like this. This is real bad. I buy her things with my earned money. What? Don't. Why? I pay the bills sometimes when she can't afford them because she's too busy spending all her money on drugs. Oh, I don't think this is jealousy is the root of this problem.
and she threw away a donut. That's the closing point. She threw away a donut and coffee. That was the tipping point, dude. She calls me drug. She eats. What? 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 She does drugs and calls me a bitch. And yesterday I got her a donut. She took a bite, threw that shit away. This is drugs. How to build a moat. Uh, how to build a house. How to build a bridge. How to build a snowman. A deck. I got a deck you can build. How to build a gay? You can't build a gay. You uh, bigots. A gay appears in the world. You're born gay. You're born that way. You just come out and you're like, Hello! Or <laughs> Sorry. That's also bigotry. All my gay friends told me that. That's how they came in the world. First, first words. They were born. They were, Hello, world. Let's see how to build a better boy. Oh, is this a show? How to build a better boy. That like, sounds like a good one. How to build a computer, a shed. How to build a bar. Oh, let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, mock it up. Mock it up. Uh, before you mock <laughs> this, <fight>. hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh boy. All right, I think that's gonna be the end of my stream today, guys. Um, this is it. Oh, sorry. Okay, let me get it. I'm out for today. Tomorrow, what? Tomorrow, Thursday, we'll do some stuff. Uh, I don't know what yet. Today was just the, we're just bullshitting this entire stream. I didn't play any games, dude. Farewell, everybody. I will catch you later. Let me play the stream. The stream's uh, anthem. Smell what the rock is cooking. Ha! The rock's laying the smack down. Goodbye, everybody. The rock says, the rock says.